What's up, you guys? This is One Classy Gamer here. Welcome back to some more Fear the Walking Dead reactions. Uh, it's time to react to episode six. Uh, I can't pronounce the name of this episode. Uh, Secret Service. Uh, not Secret Service. It says Secret Service. That's what my thing says. Um, this show is actually been getting pretty real. Uh, the last two episodes have been pretty good. Uh, not decent, good. And the writing's good, the characters are s making smart decisions now, so it's time to see the continuation of this. Once again, I'm watching this on the phone. Basically, the next, uh, this episode and the next episode are going to be watched on my phone, so here we go. I'm trying to binge watch all of these. I have this episode and episode 7 left, so we'll see if I can watch episode 7 afterwards. If I have enough energy to do it, it's 10 o'clock in the night right now, so. Here we go, let's do this, episode 6. Previously on Fear the Walking Dead. He was gonna turn. You know I had to, right? It's okay, Chris. It's okay. Yeah, he fucked him up badly. Strand has a place there. There's food, power. He's invited us to stay. This place makes me feel like the rest of the world has fallen away. My mom works for the Abigails. She's staying at the Baja house now. So it is safe there. My mother will be safe in any world, especially this one. Death is a way to new life. Yep. Once again, starting with all this happy shit. Wait. Is this church or a funeral? <laughs> I can't really tell. I'm sorry. That was a really fucked up joke. That wasn't really a joke. That was more of a question, actually. I think it's church. Yeah, it's church. Virgin, Tom Abigail, do not protect me. I'm protecting you. For those who work for me, they know you are coming, and they are armed far, far greater than you. You'll be dead by the time you get to the gate. <sighs> I'm trying to open my water bottle. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, okay, I can jump this first. I was trying to open this with one hand. Oh crap, people are dying. It was that shit they ate. That's what made them. It's poisoning them, yeah. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Oh man, he's ready with the strap. Shoot them or hide. I'd hide. Damn. No! I liked him. Oh shit. Damn. 
Well, let's prevent them from turning. You can treat him. Come on, you can treat him. You can save him. Maybe. If you don't stab him in the head, he's going to turn. Oh, he probably just remembered something there. Come on. Oh, hell yeah. Come on. Prove that you're capable. Sick. Oh my god. Damn. Killer. Like, he stabbed him like this, and all of a sudden he was holding the knife like this. That was really weird. Damn! Do it. You have to. <gasps> He's having PTSD now. Are you fucking serious, you fucking bitch? Not saving her because she told on you. Oh my god. My mom, my, my other mom told on me, so I'm gonna let her die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn, he had to kill a little girl. Welcome to the zombie apocalypse, brother. Well, they made it to Baja, so they've been trying to get here. It's kind of like, what's it called, um, Alexandria, but in Mexico, <laughs> or Baja, whatever. Yeah, it's in Mexico, basically. This place is going to turn out to not be what they think it is, probably. It's always how it happens in these zombie apocalypse shows. They go to a safe place, and the safe place turns out to be not safe, so they have to leave. That's the trend that The Walking Dead is on right now. Always have to ask him for the weapons. Ugh. She just went like, Psh! and ow, ah, oh. dang, that hurt. Oh my god, I'm so freaking stupid. Man, this is actually kind of sad. I know a, a couple that is gay. I know a gay couple, so, you know, I kind of got the feels for that, you know? I'm not going to name the names of this gay couple. I'm just saying that I know a gay couple, so...
why would I ever do that? I don't know, but I'm not because your butt hurt like that she told you people that you see. what you did about that one guy. You gotta take responsibility for your own actions, bro. Bitch slap him. What if I do? I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't speak Spanish. Are you hungry, Nicholas? I am very hungry. Yeah. What are we going to do? Dinner's not till eight. I'll give you some pozole. Promise not to tell the others. I will do just about anything for some pozole. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bro, he was looking at her ass. Oh my god, that's so creepy. Creepy. <laughs> Thank you. How is it? That's amazing. Oh my god, he's got total creeper face. He's <laughs> asking for you when he, uh, you are on his mind. I feel like he's gonna snap like a twig. Yeah, he's gonna. He's at his breaking point, man. He's gonna like just fucking snap. Yeah, he looks like he's emotionally disturbed. She... What? Alicia needs me with her tonight. Drama. Get drama alert on this. Oh, great. Now they're picking sides. This is where it all falls apart right here. Bruh, like, I feel that right there. I felt that. What the hell? Where are you taking me? Oh, you don't trust me? Oh. Religion, yeah. I'm not religious, so, you know, this doesn't have any weight to me personally. I'm not trying to offend any other. People who are religious, but yeah. Why would she bring Nick with though? Oh, so he could pray with her. When was the last time you were inside a church? Oh, <laughs> I just realized that right now. The last time he was in a church is when all the zombies were there. When he first saw a zombie for his first time. Don't bring some spiritual shit into this. If you do that, I'm gonna be pissed off. Now, nah, yeah, like right there, he's remembering. Damn.
Okay, that was pretty. That was pretty good. The way they did that. Talking to a zombie. Oh no, she's gonna be a walker. Walker, 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 walker. I knew it! So they've been dropping the dead people down through the shaft. Damn. Is he going to kill himself? Damn, he better not. Oh my god, no. Don't, Strand. Don't you dare die, Strand. You're one of the best characters in the show. Don't eat it, man. Please don't eat it. Don't you dare... Don't fucking die. Strand. No. Don't do it. Did he eat it? Dang it, I think he ate it. This fucking annoying ass kid right here. Okay, good. He has he hasn't eaten it yet. What the fuck is... What is he doing? What is he doing? He's going through life. Oh my god. The hell? Damn! He shot him. Nice. Oh. Okay, that was the episode. Dang. Stuff is getting... the. This show is getting real now. Okay, uh, that was pretty dang good. Um, I don't know what is going on with Chris, man. Like, what is he thinking? Like, was he gonna, like, try and kill them? What the hell was he gonna do? Like, he... Man, man, man. You got this, this crazy old freaking lady. What the fuck is her deal? Like... She just, like, she doesn't want to... I guess she thinks that... Yeah, she believes that when they turn into walkers, like, they're not dead. They're just, like, what comes next. So she's keeping them alive. She's throwing them down the uh, shaft so that they can all... So that she can still, like, see them in the cellar and whatnot. Um, you know, as predicted, they found a safe place, but it's not really a safe place because... Not only is there that crazy ass freaking old lady there, but at the same time, you have um, uh, the the conflict going on between Chris right now and um, Alicia and Madison and Tr and uh, what's her what's the guy's name um, Travis. Um, that's that's pretty that's that's strange. Uh, that's that's a strange thing. I don't know what is going on with Chris's character. Like he must be just like yeah, he's he's probably like he's he's probably emotionally disturbed. He's emotionally disturbed, it seems. Like he's so effed up by this life in the zombie apocalypse that he just wants to kill people. He doesn't care about who they are. 
you know, if it's family, he's going to do it. So that shit's pretty crazy. Uh, they finally got off of the boat. Um, and tension is building. Uh, what's his face? Um, I still don't know his name. Ophelia's father. Uh, he's going through a lot of uh, PTSD right now, it seems. But other than that, it's, it's getting pretty good. I mean, it, there was a point in time where the episode was a little bit slow. This episode was slower than the, the last two, but it was still written very well. Still interesting enough. I liked the scene where Nick looked up at like the um, the owl face carved in the the tree, and when they were when the Ophelia was praying, and he started getting flashbacks of when he was in a church and he first ran into the zombies. I thought that was really cool. I thought the scene the scenes with um, Strand and his lover were very sad because, like I said, I know I'm not gonna say who they are, but I. I know a gay couple, and um, watching that was pretty emotional for me, a little bit. I mean, there was a point where I started a little bit, like my eyes were just watering a little bit. I'm going to be honest, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say straight up, like if, I know I've been hating on the show a lot, but it's getting good, it's getting better, and uh, I can't wait to see... Um, what the mid-season finale is like. Hopefully it's good. And if they keep this momentum going, they can make a solid spin-off show. It's kind of annoying that it's taken this long for the show to really get good. Um, but at the same time, um, better late than never, I guess. So if you guys enjoy this reaction slash review, please comment, rate, subscribe, and I will be watching the final episode, aka the mid-season finale, pretty soon and getting that video up to you guys. So these videos will all be uploaded most likely back-to-back -back on my YouTube channel. So uh, yeah, leave a like at the bottom, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.